Hello, welcome to Juniper Level Botanic Garden, the home of Plant Delights Nursery. We're looking at um, a Morphophallus hybrid named John Tan, named for a gentleman who was a big supporter of producing a Morphophallus hybrids. Um, John Tan's first and I guess middle name was a Singaporean and um, this was named in his honor. It's the very first hybrid between a Morphophallus titanum. Now, this is a pretty big inflorescence, but it's nothing compared to the Morphophallus titanum. Morphophallus titanum is often taller, but most notably, the space, this, it's sort of the pulpit in the jack in the pulpit, their cousins, is, you know, much, much bigger. It's much bigger. Now, by now, a lot of people have had the opportunity to see one. But it is interesting because it is a hybrid between titanium and another Amorphophallus um, species, Amorphophallus variabilis, meaning to v varied. So I'm not sure if the flower is fading. Yes, two days ago it was looked more like this. It's certainly fragrant in a corpse sort of way, but it's far from being an overpowering uh, stench. The first time I saw Amorphophallus titanum, it was in a greenhouse in the botany department in um, Madison, Wisconsin, and you could smell that from the end of the long line of people waiting to go into the greenhouse, so a milder scented uh, corpse flower. Um, and I'm calling it an inflorescence, which is a botanical term to mean a whole cluster of flowers. If you think of a tulip, a tulip is one flower. But the uh, Amorphophallus, which is in the uh, Aroid family, a huge family, mostly tropical family. Um, I don't know how well you can see down there. The upper, well, let, let's go back one step. The spathe is this modified leaf that sort of is acting like a petal. Yeah, the, the central spike in the flower is the spadix. Um, the upper part from here up, I believe, is primarily serves the purpose of producing uh, lovely perfumes. And then the lower part has male flowers up top and female flowers down below. Um, in a lot of aroids with both male and female flowers on the spadix, they, uh, the male and the female po parts or flowers ripen at different times so they don't um, cross-pollinate themselves. They don't inbreed. And hopefully some beetles or flies that are attracted to things with this type of perfume will transfer the pollen from one inflorescence to another. Most uh, Amorphophallus have these beautifully marked stems and they're really variable. This is a, a different Amorphophallus over here with um, dark stems with a little, a few uh, silver spots here and there. I'm pretty good at reading labels. This is a, oh, oh this is a complex, complex hybrid between three species, including titanium. So it's just one third titanium. Um, though there are quite a few species of Amorphophallus, that are winter hardy in uh, zone 7B and warmer areas um, that can be left in the ground and they return each spring to perfume your garden. Um, this hybrid, John Tan, is a tropical uh, hybrid. Um, I don't know the species variabilis, but, but titanium is certainly tropical loving steamy hot summer weather. Uh, when, you know, after they're done blooming, they eventually put up a leaf, and this is not the same hybrid, but it, it's a fairly typical amorphophallus leaf that's one highly dissected leaf. 
Well, I hope you found some interest in uh, this hybrid amorphophallus. Hope to see you again in the garden.